beautiful souls welcome back to another video this will be for april 6th 2023 i just want to read some of the energies i know as a twin right now divine feminines are going through it um i happen to be experiencing cramps in the sacral area as well as cold symptoms you might be extremely tired and fatigued i find myself napping a lot so keep that in mind divine masculines are actually going through a lot right now and um making decisions towards their truth and stepping into i guess they're stepping more so into their union within and that's also projecting us into a union in the externalized world with your twin um that being said i am pretty drained today i am um trying to observe my energy channeling is a little bit harder harder for me today so Please bear with me. However, I would like to read this collective and I would like to share whatever's coming through with those who might have, be struggling at this time. So I'm just going to clear the space. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what do I need? This is funny. Um, this card is the Great Severing. It deals with Mars energy. It deals with a lot of anger, conflict. Um, but it asks you to stay um, in unconditional love to yourself and to others. Being able to have loving boundaries. Uh, I was having a conversation about Mars actually this morning with one of my friends. So I think that's funny that that came up. However, this is a time where you might feel a lot of pain. Um, you might be more argumentative with people. I believe that I will be reading for the Divine Feminine Collective today. That's the energy I'm getting right now. For those of you who didn't run from your twin, who are still around your twin, I believe this one will be for you. Partially, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't the collective that I thought it would be. Um, this is a collective that I kind of am aware of. This is hiding. What is under here? We have Horus energy. Um, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. So that's the underlining energy through it all is being able to trust self, trust the hires, understand that this is actually ha happening underneath the surface so we got you got love um hadarian energy codependency and boundaries might be a thing that are still trickling in your life um that comes because you might be still trying to micromanage the universe and push yourself down paths that are still um that you believe that are for you but might not necessarily be for you, you uh, i believe i'm talking to the collective that is still trying to run from themselves um here we have birth as a portal so things are coming in for you but you might not necessarily recognize it at this time uh Hathor is actually a goddess that i speak to quite often and quite frequently um and she's the goddess of in, in my world anyway she very much is one the who bring in your blessings who make sure that you're protected she's very much the cosmic mother is what i would like to describe her as if you've been seeing like cow horns um bull horns very much representative of the cow so if you've been seeing kind of or hearing that she might be around you to try to help you through your things don't be afraid to pray, pray with her or for her she's extremely extremely nice um it just might be a lot for you because it requires you to surrender everything over to her at this time because you don't know what you're doing um this tells me that you may not know what you're doing loosening your grip coping mechanisms density addiction like got in this also lets me know that there are some things that are still there i believe that it has to do with micromanaging the universe and codependency and boundary issues um the ways in which addiction might be playing out in your life right now isn't exactly the ways in which that you expect i'm also picking up <sighs> i really that i'm picking up masculine energy here um 
so your twin might be going through it but at the same time you guys will both be feeling this energy for divine feminines you will always pick up on your twin's energy especially if you're not in full union with your twin your ma divine masculine might not necessarily pick up yours so just keep that in mind that you are protected everything's happening for its reason and you are completely protected and safe in these times yeah continue being of service um continue oh is that a clarification recover a part of you that is dormant so put your how are you going to help the collective how are you going to help yourself how are you going to help others is there any place that you need to show up for you or others in your life without draining your cup um you being in a place of forcing energy might not necessarily be for you some of them some of you may actually need to rest in this time i'm seeing this here some of you may need to rest at this time to be able to open these doors um for some these doors are already open oh was it extremely active today i wasn't yeah continue aiming higher um things are coming in towards you you're manifesting things towards you uh you might not necessarily experience like a full crazy joy even though you know that that's the person that you are and that's the frequency that you emit but those things are coming towards you be careful of your fears though that's the only thing that's going to block you right now is your fears of rejection your fears of not being a part of the norm anymore um fears of not necessarily gaining the same um i want to say for those of you that have child wounds that or core wounds that root in like perfectionism um achievement style based success like that is showing through at this time um it won't be like that for you anymore yeah have faith trust 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 it's yeah don't put too much in your in your career at this time um are you spending too much time on your career over other things i also just got the download where i'm pretty sure it's just for me because i need to be taking care of myself as well um is there anything else I need to learn? No, at this time. So yeah, and then again, um, fear of rejection. That's going to play out in your life right now. Um, and forgiveness very much so is the childhood wounds. Yeah, the core wounds that are coming through. What are you doing to heal these things? What are you doing to heal your family? Um, I just opened the deck. I want to show you. I just opened the deck to Miracle as I was just kind of sitting here picking through it. This ended up popping out and catching my eye and gave me a vibrational frequency. So things very much so are progressing um, in a way that is supportive. There you go. Um, <laughs> your miracles are coming. It's just a matter of staying true to yourself, taking the time for yourself, surrendering everything over to the universe because if you were to go with your what the outside world looks like right now you probably are gonna let them pass you by again so people with twins if you're like oh my twin is you know the most toxic individual okay and you know yourself it's like okay maybe it's time for you to have that re reunion or reconciliation so that you can actually start learning more things about yourself it might be scary but maybe that twin is there Yeah, facade is, is the illusion state. What have you done to heal your childhood pain? Guilt is um, what sort of anger do you, do you feel that might actually be guilt? And it would be guilt of giving your energy to things that don't actually necessarily serve you instead of tuning it towards yourself and what you need and all of that. Yeah, that's what your block is right now. That's what you're being detoured to if you don't pay attention to that you're gonna go back it's not a bad thing you'll just go back and you'll heal it more off, more so in separation however you're very much you're ready to start the new chapter of your life it's just up to you but they've given you your path if you choose to go elsewhere it's just it's a detour it's not a no but it's a it's gonna take some time okay i believe that might be everything that i have for you today Spirit, do you have any last words for this collective? Yep, apparently. I have a feeling this is just going to keep coming out as the same message. Yep, so empaths popped out again. We just talked about it. Um, that's your, you being blocked. Letting go of your past. Um, express yourself in a creative form. Creativity is really going to help you heal as well. So um, I used to be a musician. I used to write songs. I used to channel my songs. And looking back on them, I could see all my 
patterns, my fears, my insecurities, my anger, my hurt, my like everything. And then once I kind of got all that into my system and I was not no longer able to really truly channel that anymore, my medium shifted, but it shifted into a new path for me. So like I appreciate music, but it's not necessarily mine anymore. Enlightenment, choosing, you have a choice here. You have two paths that you can go in. But be careful of your victimhood mentality. Um, not necessarily facing your truth. You got to be prepared to face the truth. And the only reason why you're being blocked right now, again, is because of your insecurities and fears. So please take this as it resonates. Um, if you need any more additional guidance, please, please, please go to the link in my bio. Um, it's under guidance and outreach that you'll be able to book a consult if you're not sure what you need, or you can go to book now to directly book your reading. I am so grateful for all of this. Uh, I also write me articles on the twin flame journey on medium so if that also interests you please go check that out that is also through the link in my bio thank you so much for bearing with me this reading came out a lot smoother than i thought i don't feel as drained as i had this morning so thank you so much again for being here and i really do hope that you heal stay blessed much love